Another police officer wounded is with patrol, both with the Dallas Police Department. Okay, so that clears that up now. So two Dallas police officers apparently wounded tonight in this shooting that has taken place uh, during this, this protest. Uh, the protesters had asked for people to be at peace. The protest was, again, supposed to be about uh, the shootings that occurred earlier in the week in Baton Rouge and, of course, uh, overnight uh, in, in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. And then uh, what's... Uh, Jobin Panikar, I understand, has some, some new information for us. He's, he's joining us now with much more. Jobin. Hey, John. Yeah, we're right in front of this hotel parking site. Um, they had some guns. Something. The, the man did not say anything, but... At this point, we do not know if this is related to this shooting, John. Cynthia? Okay, that's that's Jobin, uh, look Jobin Panikar talking to us right now. Rebecca Lopez also joins us. Rebecca has been covering police and police issues here for quite some time now. She has more information for us. Rebecca? I have been talking to my sources, and we are hearing different things, and that happens in this kind of situation. But when I got here to the Omni, I can tell you what I witnessed, and there were officers swarming the Omni Hotel. There are people that were screaming, the shooter is nearby. People were told to get on the ground, get on the ground. Officers in SWAT gear and the AR-15 came swarming into the uh, Omni Hotel. I was crouched behind a pillar, and they told me to get down, get down. An officer pointed a weapon because not sure, you know, if I was the suspect and so they they told us to get on the ground we all got on the ground and obeyed their orders but a, a very tense situation out here I've covered the Dallas Police Department since 2003 and obviously I have never seen anything like this my sources are saying that there appears to be possibly three officers shot two Dallas police officers and a dart officer we're told the dart officer is not doing well and these are unconfirmed reports but I am talking to some people that were here at the scene um, as covering police for a long time I have heard a particular name of an officer, an officer that I might know very well. And so obviously very emotional out here and very tense for Dallas police as they try to arrest the people who did this. Uh all right, Rebecca Lopez reporting live from downtown Dallas, uh, letting us know that according to her sources, there have been possibly three officers shot tonight at that Dallas protest that started off peacefully. Two DPD officers, one DART officer, who that source told Rebecca Lopez is not doing well right now. And these officers taken to the hospital, but again, hundreds of people attending this Dallas protest at 7 o'clock tonight started off peacefully, has turned very violent and very dangerous as we have an active shooter still in downtown Dallas who police are trying to find. Uh, police officers are not only having to worry, of course, about uh, the people who are part of the protest and the people who may have been walking around downtown, but also people inside the building. So in the last few minutes, we've been told that uh, a dozen students who were inside El Centro College, inside the campus there, those students were escorted out by Dallas police officers just in the last uh, five to ten minutes, uh, escorted to safety. Again, this is an ongoing situation. Police officers, as you can see, these pictures are probably in the last hour, but police officers still have not secured the location, still have not found this, gun, this gunman. I suspect that the reason that that car was stopped that we saw just a short time, time ago is, again, this is why they don't want you anywhere near that location. Sure. Uh, because if you're driving and you're driving and you're not going to be following orders, the, the, the reaction to you it may not be a reaction you're going to like quickly under these kind of circumstances. That's why police officers are trying their best to clear this area as quickly as possible because, again, they have what they believe to be an active shooter on the scene. The shooting happened just before 9 p.m. and we've been hearing from witnesses all night that they heard a barrage of gunfire. Marisa Vader has been on the scene. She's been talking to a lot of witnesses. The last witness told you, Marie, that he's happy to be alive after running across through the line of gunfire to try to get to his car and to safety. And I understand you have more witnesses with you right now. 
Right, Izzy, this uh, witness telling me the same thing, that he feels lucky to be alive. Richard Adam joining me now. Adams. Adams. Joining me now. You were in the middle of this march as it was coming through downtown Dallas. It was a lovely, peaceful march. There were children. Everybody was lightly chanting. They were, everybody was happy and good spirits. On the return after the speaker from the old courthouse. You guys were right by um, the JFK Memorial and Big Red in that plaza. On the east side of Big Red. As they said, resume the march. We came down Commerce Street. Right as we got to the Bank of America parking structure, we heard what sounded like bunch of firecrackers going off and everybody just stop run run for your lives and women with children and babies and everybody was chaotically running and then maybe I was a half a block away and calming down a little bit and everyone was we heard it again and people like run screaming we ran back to the Omni the same thing there must have been five times tonight wherever we thought we were safe people's like run people are shocked they don't know what to do I, I experienced hate just for being me for the first time in my life I this whole point of this whole march was to stop racism and judging people by the color of skin and I had that experience. It wasn't about me, but I experienced a little bit of what they what they go through on a daily basis. You were on the corner of uh, Commerce, we'd say, and, and Lamar right when this happened. Can you tell which direction the gunfire was coming from? No, I couldn't. It was hard to hear. It felt like it was echoing off buildings. It was hard to get a sense of where the real threat was. It sounded like it's 4th of July, like you're at a you're hearing firecrackers. All I, all you, all that registers is people say run and chaos and you're really experiencing this and everybody's dispersing and, and scared for their lives and running. There were a lot of uh, families in this rally and march as we saw earlier today children. and people were grabbing and going, I'm assuming, for their safety. Grabbing safety. and going. Many times, three, four, five times, we keep dispersing and people run in masses and we didn't know what was going on. You think, I live in this direction, we ran that direction, you think you're safe and then you, you don't know what's happening. Scary, scary situation. Your feelings tonight about this happening here in Dallas? I'm in shock. I, I don't, it doesn't make sense. How do you make sense of this? You hear police officers are killed. You see, you see babies running. What? It doesn't make sense. Glad you're safe tonight. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Richard, we appreciate your time. Uh, to update you all, John and Izzy, on where we are, we've been at Below Gardens this entire time, but we've been consistently moved back, and now we...